Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. I'm currently recording new music after my last release performed much better than expected. And of course, I'm using my MPC-1 and my Zoom R20 together with my hardware synths. And I thought it might be interesting to see how these two devices work together. Please join me in this video and take a look. Here we go. <sighs> Okay, so MPC-1 is a Linux-based DAW in the box and the R20 is a multi-track recorder that can also work as an audio interface with 8 audio inputs and 4 separate audio outputs. In order to take advantage of this, we must first connect both devices with a USB Type-C data cable. Now turn on both devices and wait for them to boot. I want to record my hardware synths today, so you can see all the audio inputs on the R20 are connected. On the R20, press the cogwheel icon in the upper right corner of the screen, then select Audio Interface and then Multitrack. If you're using a charging cable only, the R20 will show an error message. Swap the cable and you're good. Now on MPC-1 I load my song project. Then press Shift and Preferences. Tap the Audio Device Menu item in the left column and then select the R20. Then tick the checkbox 32 Inputs and Outputs and reboot. Now make sure all your settings are correct, then press the Home button and then the Audio tab in the lower left corner of the screen. Press the I icon to set up your audio tracks. I will use two audio tracks here for my Yamaha EX5 and my Innovation Peak. The EX5 is connected to inputs 1 and 2 and the Peak is connected to inputs 3 and 4. Now, press the Track Overview button in the left middle part of the screen, the one that looks like an Excel sheet. You can now arm your track for recording. In order to capture multiple tracks at once, hold down the Shift key and then tap the arm buttons for each track you want to record on. The EX5 will play this slow brass stab each time the singer has completed a line. The Peak will play this distorted electric piano, augmenting some of the high notes of the vocal line, which is a subtle yet striking effect. By the way, you can download these patches from my Gumroad page for free, I only want your soul. But the R20 can do even more useful stuff here. I can use it for controlling synth parameters on the MPC, for example. To do that, tap the cogwheel icon in the upper right corner of the R20 screen and then turn on DAW control. On the MPC, press the Shift and Preferences button and then select the MIDI and Sync tab. The R20 should show up as a MIDI device here. Make sure the Control option is active. Then press Menu, tap the MIDI icon and press MIDI Learn in the lower middle of the screen. I want to control the filter cutoff frequency of Tube Synth here, so as a source, select Program, then the track the synth is on. Then push the Target tab, select Program, then the synth track and then filter cutoff frequency. Now tap the learn button and move one of the faders on the R20. Tap the learn button again and here you can see the filter cutoff frequency control changing. I'll assign another fader to another synth plugin and then I'll use this on a work in progress version of my new song. They put up a sign at the place we used to go Choosing a table as the wind starts to pull on our clothes Sending pictures and postcards home to our friends Beautiful summer slowly comes to an end Shelter halfway back to our home. A wall of confession with a rain. 
busting summer in my mind all the time. Oh, tell me your sweet little lies and take me again by surprise. One morning comes and we find ten years have gotten behind. Our backs and the cracks are behind. Yeah, and that's it for today. Recording multiple audio sources on the MPC-1 together with the Zoom R20. And if you found this interesting and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can join my Patreon or become a channel member using the button under this video. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.